Actually, I'm really proud. It was a surprise. But having spent 40 years in manufacturing and been pan passionate about manufacturing, it was, it was a real great honour. And I'd certainly say I've, I've been so fortunate to work, particularly in the latter years, uh, with Mazak, which is one of the great leaders in manufacturing technology, and that's really helped me, I think, make that achievement. Yamazaki Mazak is one of the world leaders in the manufacture of computer controlled metal cutting machine tools. It has a, a massive range, including laser systems as well, and machines which also incorporate additive manufacturing. It's actually a family owned uh, business uh, based in Nagoya, Japan, but we invested in the UK something like 32 years ago, and we're now the European headquarters in Worcester. And over that time, we've installed about 60,000 machine tools all across Europe, and half of those have been manufactured in the UK and exported from the UK. Yeah, it's actually the 100th anniversary of Yamazaki Mazak, and we've enjoyed some celebrations of that fact, and we've enjoyed sort of reflecting back over those years about you know, what has constituted our success. And that really comes down to innovation and constant in investment. Uh, and so we've enjoyed looking at that, but we don't tend to look back too much. I mean, our company always likes to look forward and think about the next years. The big opportunity is really centered on productivity because many, many companies really don't have the levels of productivity that they really need. You know, it's low productivity and they either don't care to admit it or don't know. And that means there's huge opportunities. And I think what we're seeing at this show today actually is all the opportunities to collect data, to optimize manufacturing systems and get better utilization of existing assets. So there are huge opportunities there. And actually through technology as well, machine tools themselves have tra been transformed. So machine tools that are offered today in the marketplace are much more productive than anything that was offered even three or four years ago. So constant innovation, constant development, opportunities to improve productivity. The new generation of engineers are going to have to have a much broader view than when I trained as an engineer uh, those years ago. So they'll need to understand the traditional processes, but they'll also need to know all about new manufacturing processes, such as additive manufacturing and use of laser systems. But more than that, they're going to have to be systems thinkers. They're going to have to understand the whole manufacturing process. And that's where the digitization comes in, because they're going to have to understand how to use data, how to simulate manufacturing processes in order to optimize them. It's a kind of lean plus, you know, we're all familiar with lean manufacturing, but now we can simulate and we can improve productivity uh, through that digitalization. So they're going to need those skills as well. Oh, I think they're extremely important organizations. It's where the whole industry, engineers of like minds come together and we're all passionate about the future of our business. Certainly, we've all been involved in, for example, the Made Smarter program, which is looking to transform the UK and its adopt adoption of digital technologies. And one of my passions with those organizations will be to get adoption of digital technologies uh, spread out across the whole country rather than just the pilot that we currently have in the Northwest.